Hello guys, this is Vivek and this is 28th tutorial of this Linux tutorial series. In this le lesson, we are going to learn about swap management. Now what is this? So swap space in Linux is used when the amount of physical memory is full. It's like virtual memory in the Windows. So if the system needs the more memory resources than what RAM can handle or when the RAM is full, inactive pages in the memory are moved to swap space. So while swap space can help machines in a small amount of RAM, it should not be considered as a replacement for RAM because for the obvious reasons, right? So we'll see how we can manage swap on a Linux system. So the command remains the same, either it's Red Hat Windows or uh, Ubuntu machine. So the concept remains the same. So let's see how we can do that. So we'll type, first we need to see what the available disk space is. Let's increase the font size. F disk minus L will give you, okay. This command won't run with this current user. We need root access. So type F disk minus L. So yes, in the previous lesson, we also learned about creating partitions where we created a partition of one GB space, but the actual block device that we uh, have is five GB of space. So we can create further uh, partitions in this. So let's go ahead and create a partition for swap. So we'll select STB, all right? So we'll set, select F disk, then device SDB. T E V S T V. All right. So we need to create a new partition. It should be. It can be a primary or a secondary. Let's see the partition number for sector, and we create one GB of swap. All right. So this is how it looks like. Create a new partition of 1GB STB2. Now, the type if, or ID, if you see here, it's by default 83. So for swap, the type should be 82. So we need to select change the type. So we'll type T and enter. It asks which partition number you want to change the type for. So we'll select 2. Now, hex code, it's asking. Uh, for the hex code of the type. So if you hit L, it will give you all the different types possible. Cool. So we need to select type of 82, that is Linux swap. So we'll type 82. Done. Now we can save this change. Then we will do part probe. Then next step is to make a swap available to the system. So we'll type F disk minus L to see the available partitions. We created STB here. This is 82. That is for swap. It was 83 earlier or 8E. Uh, yeah, 83 earlier. So we change it to 82. Now we are going to make it a swap. So command is mk swap. And then device stb. <clears throat> so it created a swap space of 1 GB in size. So you need to make sure that uh, you do make an entry in etcfs tab. Otherwise, this is a temporary change. If there is no swap space exist, then it will create a new swap space. If swap already exists, then it will append this new size to the existing swap. So let's go ahead and edit the fstep file. So type vim slash etc slash fstep. Go to the last line. 
hit I to insert and I'll type uh, the uh, device STB2 it's a swap it's swap type then leave it as default then 0 space 0 cool now mount minus a to check everything is correct it is now how to check whether uh, the change that we made is reflected here or not so if I use swap on command it will show me uh, how much swap space is being used so my system originally had swap space of 2 GB so and uh, when I added new swap space it was for 1 GB in size right so I'll type free command to check how much swap space is being used or this command basically shows you the RAM utilization so the RAM utilization is mentioned here it also mentions how much swap space it has so it's not using any swap space right now because there is RAM memory available but swap you can see it's around 3 GB in size now what are different partitions that are used for swap space so that we can see using swap on command minus s so it originally had 2 GB swap we added 1 GB additionally so that makes out 3 GB so that's all about swap management you can go ahead and practice on your side and then you'll become more confident in it all right so thanks for watching guys also do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any further updates thanks for watching